morning and welcome to the shovel. Good morning. Uh, I'm on a piece of property this weekend that a friend of mine owns and was cutting it up. And I said, can I go out there and look? And here I am. And uh, hey, I got my little uh, Fisher Bambino coil on this morning. It's been a while since I've been out. And I uh, got my first hole right here. I didn't expect much, but uh, I did see some brick laying on the ground. And I uh, got this great signal. Bam, you see the dirt. Very nice. Old, big old dandy. I didn't really expect much in here today. Very cool, man. Bit chunk, I think, but let's continue. That's a really cool barn right there. Expect it. It's been a while. Number one on the board. Move ahead, see what's going. So I just found a uh, house site. It is so much iron and brick, and uh, ooh, we got a couple buttons out of it. That's what, it's really good. I went back and changed up coil and put on the original little putt coil for the F75. Found about six buttons this morning with the. Uh, the new Baby Bambino by Fisher and uh, decided to put this one on uh, because I had to get a little bit more so many signals very hard to pick out I, got something to I can't see it by my eyes but it sure is making a good little noise Looks like a, what is it, a shot muscle ball? Oh no. A bale seal. Oh, check this out, y'all. Check this bale seal out now. See that? It's got a name of some sort on it. Muscles. Something. Woo that is too daggum cool right there. Too cool. Bale seal, man, that's nice. Look, I'd say, I'd say a W, and there's some more in there, but you can pick that up. But yeah, that's cool find. Let's get back. Still going at it. I just pulled this. Where did it go? Where did it go? Check it out. Very nice. Very. Thank God. Alright. I'm sweating. Don't move. It's cool out, but it's still kind of, you know, humid out here. Gotta be some. Tell you what, it's not uncommon to find thimbles on these old places. And this is probably a settlement with what I'm finding, but uh, I'll be finding a little piece of a thing. First one to touch it in a long time. I promise you that. Well, I imagine these Indians uh, they were trading with somebody's call. signals a lot of history right here more than I thought glad I walked across the road 
Well, first one of the day, I'll see you there. How about you? Musket ball shot. Who that thing's heavy? They go around ball. Oldie. Mm. Whew. Keep looking though. That last big one. It's usually at this point when I realize how important these symbols were to these Americans. It's early Americans. Was it the military? Was it a man? It sure is the size of a man. Man, I'm just blessed to be here. continuing with. Hear all those signals. It's like that everywhere. It's so hard. And after about three hours, your brain's like, man, nah, seven day old salad burnt. It's going to keep on for a little while longer. I got to get the heck out of here. It was kind of a fluke thing today. I mean, I walked right up on it, but uh, I'm just so wore out already. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm tired. I'm trying to get back to the truck and I got that signal. Check it out. Very nice. Check that out. Man, that's killing. Almost looks like a little starburst in there or something. Look at the guy going in the back. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So 
we're back at the shed and I uh, want to kind of give you a recap on the day. So basically got some permission about, it's probably been three months ago. And the man was going to do some work in there on that piece of property and he said he was going to cut it. So uh, I was going to wait on it and I rode by there this past weekend and sure enough he had cut it. So I gave him a call. He said, come on while you can, we're fixing to hunt it. And I said, okay. So today I got up early and I went over there. I started the morning out early with a brand new, I call it the Baby Bambino Fisher. Uh, it's a testing product and uh, did pretty good. Uh, they had cut that thing down and I wasn't really expecting to see much. And the first thing I found was a brass button and it kind of continued on from there. I ended up about lunchtime coming back to the truck, switching out with the puck, get me something to eat, drink some uh, Pepsi Cola and get back to it. Um, the only reason I did switch, um, basically, was it got real, I found a, I found where the main house was, I guess it was, and, um, it got really, really irony, and I was getting word salad and brain salad with all the signals, and that's in the video, you'll see that, but, uh, I did manage to scratch out some, some pretty good stuff, though. Uh, very interesting sight, a lot of signals, um, my gosh, it was a heck of a working area, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, we got the permission and dug some stuff, and uh, let's go see what we got. So today we had one heck of a hunt. I am so glad I called him and went out there and rode by there this weekend, saw it open, so it was worth the call, and sure enough, he's let me go on in there. And I spent a good amount of time in there. There was a lot of iron signals that you see in the video, and uh, it was just, it, it just, it was brain salad. And it's been a while since I got into that, so I'm glad I didn't have any headphones on. I'd have died in there. But we got some really nice stuff, as you can see. Um, we've got this dandy that almost looks like, to me, it's got some starbursts in there. If you look, we've got to clean it up. A little bit of monkey ball action. A little small leads and uh, of course we got these nice thimbles that we dug up in there which is typical for these settlements Some more nice uh, buttons German silver etc we have one little small discussion I don't know uh, exactly what it went to maybe a piece of furniture maybe not uh, we do have some old pewter utensil pieces you can see the little grooves in them you know we I cut really the devil that little small cuff button in this dirt it was kind of hard to find but i did retrieve it another brass button there and then a piece of a j hook and a piece of a finial thought that was pretty cool those are very old and uh some more buttons down there that hadn't cleaned up yet but some nice nice buttons and then i think find of the day was this lead bail seal uh it's got a w on it as you can just about see that uh there's a whole story behind those lead bale seals and uh i'll share that with you soon and i thought that was my find of the day very cool colonial bale seal uh when i find those i'm really excited and of course you know some mix and match some uh some pottery there another piece of utensil and a really cool piece of pottery with the colonial guys on there it almost looks like he's uh pouring some tea but uh I ain't no being outside and all like that, but uh, anyway, did find those and a, and a little conglomerate of pottery just kind of picked up. I think I got a piece of cologne wear here, fired on the outside, not on the inside. And of course, some different ages of pottery that was out in this one site. And oddly enough, this, uh, this old uh, uh, Zippo or whatever it may be, lighter. <laughs> I'm going to clean it up and see if anything's on it later, but yeah, interesting. I started off with a little Baby Bambino by Fisher. Uh, nice test coral. We got so much, uh, turned out there's just so much material in there that um, I could not keep up with everything. So I switched over to the puck about lunchtime. After I got me a Pepsi Cola and something to eat. And uh, anyway, uh, commenced on finding some more things. And this is the outcome of that. 
Man, I'm glad I walked out there. I walked across the street and uh, just happened to find this one little bunch of stuff and spent the time in. It was pretty rough, but it was worth the time. Um, it'll be a few months before I get to go back, but I will go back when he's finished doing what he does and uh, maybe we'll find some pretty cool stuff. Till then, I'll see you next weekend.